the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey held their monthly brunch with the Chamber meeting on Thursday morning at the Meadowlands Conference Center in Lyndhurst at Bergen Community College. Formed 30 years ago in collaboration with then-Governor Tom Kane to mentor and train Hispanic business owners in New Jersey, the Chamber has become the voice for more than 120,000 Hispanic-owned businesses in the Garden State. The 3,500-member SHCCNJ has contributed over $22 billion to the state economy in that time. To assist businesses even more, a major financial partnership was announced during Thursday's brunch. Sure, when we poll our members time and time again, by far the number one issue they have is access to capital to start and to both start and to grow their business. So we're teaming with world business lenders to offer loans to members that might not be able to get a traditional loan and resort to predatory lenders such as online platforms that could charge as much as 40-50%. So we're trying to offer loans to members at a fair rate, much lower than the market would offer, um, to help these members grow and start their businesses. Today we have an issue where small business loans are not available in a fair and transparent way, generally speaking to small business owners, but disproportionately to disadvantaged communities like the Hispanic community where unfortunately you see predatory lenders and others that are not trying to serve the better interests of the uh, borrowing community as compared to their own profit interests. So what the Peruvian community has come here since the 50s and has uh, collaborate with the growth of this uh, part of the United States, uh, of this uh, state, New Jersey, uh, we have around 150,000 Peruvians in the area, distributed in different counties, but still I think it is, it is a very important uh, labor force. But we are trying to create a, a pool of money that will help people that have been declined or cannot be considered from financial institutions in order for us as a chamber to help them to access to capital. Hispanics are starting businesses at a much greater rate, but there's still a gap between the average Hispanic business revenue and the mainstream revenue of a company. So we're trying to narrow that gap every way we can. And besides education and access to networks that we provide, we felt the next natural step would be access to capital. Based in Jersey City, World Business Lenders presented the Chamber a $100,000 loan during Thursday's meeting. And we came up with this idea of partnering social capital, which is available to the Chamber, with our platform, our distribution platform and capabilities, which we are contributing at no profit to this venture so that we can provide financing that doesn't exist anywhere else in the country. This, the financing to the members of this Chamber, I believe, will be the lowest uh, cost capital available to any small business owner nationwide. Medina says the three-year partnership the Chamber has with Bergen Community College has been an exceptional one. We've helped them apply for grants in the STEM field. Um, they offer us space here and it's a real collaboration. We met with them yesterday in Paramus to talk more about even their student body which is they're a Hispanic serving institution which means more than a quarter of their students are of Hispanic origin. So we are trying to implement programs where we're introducing the students to role models, business role models, because perhaps their network doesn't have those role models or the Rolodex that we have. So when a student is starting their career, it's invaluable that they have these networks that we are very strong in. Bergen Community College is excited to be a partner with the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce uh, because what we want to do is continue to serve our students and serve our communities. Thank you for that partnership and support. Networking has three steps, visibility, credibility, and profitability. People cannot expect to attend one of these events and, and get a check for, for their services. You come here to develop long uh, relationships, and if you develop those relationships well, you will be able to do businesses from people that you met here. World Business Lenders and the Statewide Hispanic Chamber will begin providing loans to small businesses in May. In Lindhurst, reporting for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.